they can even take them to game five, game ten sometimes. But M Boomy and Sansa are the winningest team for sure. Let's see what happens here with this new combination. The Snowy's opening up with the Zul and uh, and Santi and the Koji. Yeah, by and large, this is going to be Boomy and Sandstorm favored, but at the same time, we're not too used to seeing them on these characters, and of course, we're not too used to this specific matchup against Snowy and Santi. Oh, yes, and Boomy on the Grim as well. It's been, I don't know, I'm trying to think of the last tournament where Boomy really primaried Olgrim throughout the entirety of a doubles tournament. I mean, it makes so much sense to me. Olgrim has been such a staple 2v2 pick in every region since... Basically, people stopped thinking he was the worst character in the game, right? Yeah. Like that, it's, it's been that's been the Once case. Once people see, realize he's actually kind of good, but to see Boomy and Sandstorm bring it out in their team composition as well with Sandstorm primary and Wushong, very fascinating. Neutral sync hits, yep. bit of friendly fire, and then he gets punished for it off the top of the stage. Delight into the nair. nair, surprising. I guess recovery would have killed. Nice what? follow up from Sandstorm though. The gravity cancel side sig will even up the stock count. That's a that's a nice follow up. I mean that was a lot that was a lot of force by that knockback and he still caught him. Big dares. Ooh. Santa goes down. Boomy going for the three piece here. A slight lead in favor of the red team, but you gotta give a lot just keep an eye out for Sandstorm on the gauntlets, because he was throwing out six for days in his earlier set and he was hitting all of them. Oh, Santi gets a nice recovery through, and he chase dodges down to avoid getting punished. Nair hits, Sandstorm, all those off the top, down to kids. We're, we're, the red team's at a huge risk of Boomy going down incredibly early and putting Sandstorm into a 1-2 as that recovery just sends him flying. I mean, that was the fastest Sandstorm projectile I think I've ever seen. Uh, just launched off the right side of the stage, and Boomy hits Santi away to focus on the 1v2 with Snowy, but Snowy using the cannon to great effect. Delight Nair comes through, takes Boomy off to his last stock of game number one, and gives the blue team a tentative lead. Yeah, blue team looking pretty nice. Snowy able to put out a lot of damage. Santi able to get some pretty solid follow-ups. Still able to steal out that bow pickup, but Sandstorm with the down sig gonna even up this stock count. Boomy Got to be a little bit careful here. He is the most damaged person on their final stock. Ooh. Okay, so he makes it back. Sandstorm tries to go for the pogo on the way with his recovery. Neutral light nice. into the alley-oop from Sandstorm. I am always impressed by how well the pro players are able to take a situation where they are knocked away and turn it into an opportunity for a team combo. And that is another case of that. Sandstorm with that finisher brings the stock lead in for the red team, but how much does it matter? Boomy nearly losing his stock off the right side of the stage. Sandstorm doing his best to fight for his recovery, but if Boomy goes down here, it's a 1v2 against Sandstorm. Oh! So gets launched. Boomy gonna get taken out. Oh! Forces the dodge, maybe? Dive he kick, did he touch? Oh, he got the chase dodge. He Beautiful, gets the chase dodge, escapes the bottom of the stage. This ain't Miami Dome. Boomy makes it to the left side, and now he's just playing the survival game as Sandstorm goes through and tries to finish off Santi. On the right side, Ooh. Sandstorm <laughs> with the big ground pound, and Boomy's oh, like, Boomy all right, right, let me just rotate to the other side, because oh, all I got to do is play that back line. I love that, and it was without hesitation. He sees that Snowy's trying to equalize it, and he knows Snowy's got the potential to win the 1v1 one one against Sandstorm. So you know what he does? He, he just travels all the way around the planet. That's Mammoth Fortress, and he makes it to the other oh, side. But no. Snowy, oh, Snowy's what? doing it. Blasts up and down, just completely covering that Y-axis. Sandstorm hit him with the side air, tries to go for the weapon throw afterwards, but now it's a 1v1 between Sandstorm and Snowy. And Snowy Ooh. gets in there to side air. Is that the weapon Ooh. toss to finish it off? Sandstorm. Can you dodge back to the stage? Touch, oh. but dead. It's going to be Snowy to close it out, and they take game number one. I can't believe it. Duke, we have gotten the best block today. I'm just calling it. I mean, it might get better. It might get better later today, but I am just floored by how great these matchups have been. Snowy won a 1v2 against Boomy and Sandstorm, Duke. Kind what? of absurd. Kind of can, absurd. You can count the amount of the times that happens on one finger, let alone one hand. I'm pretty sure that's the only time I've ever seen it happen. There's probably it's, another time. <laughs> I, I, but I'm, I'm trying to say that it doesn't. Well, yeah, it's often. it's definitely okay. an absurdity. Uh, uh, by and large, you get. Uh, we probably had the PRs up earlier. Boomy and Sandstorm are the favorites, the top seeded, top PR. They dominate North America and only ever lose to Cody Travis and Faison, and now. They're behind Snowy and Santi, the new kids, this new team since the Pro Series. How crazy 
Would it be? I'm thinking so far in the future. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> Snowy and Santi meet against Simba and Walshi in Winner's Finals. What a insane. crazy reality that would Boobie, be. Booby, though. <laughs> oh, well. He's uh, not going to let that happen. Yeah, they're not very happy that I'm... Uh, uh, you know what? I, it's fine. I'm, I'm picturing an alternate reality. I think Boomy and Sandstorm are going to fight that Brahala what if. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we'll see. We've got ourselves a best of five, and I, I was ready nice to call for Coslix and Red. Weapon toss? No. Nope. That's not what happened, though. So let's see how this plays out. Snowy okay. and Santi are down four stocks to six, but they are up a game. Ooh. But huge uh, adjustments coming out for Boomy and Sandstorm in game number two. So Skirting far. right along that ground pound from Boomy. Sandstorm goes in, hits a recovery, tries to go for that follow up in there. A uh, sizable lead here for the red team. All things considered, Sandstorm's taking like no damage. Yeah, that axe sider barely sent him anywhere. I even think, e even if he was at the edge of the stage, I'm not sure that would have knocked down a mammoth. Nice and Boomy with the save, side light nair, stops Sandstorm from getting hit by that D light side air from the sword. He pops right back in with the spear, and Boomy continues destroying with the axe as Snowy is trying to navigate the, the playing field with the axe recovery. Oh. That sider will take down Boomy. Can he get the return knockout to Sandstorm as well? Neutral light disarms, no weapon toss follow up. I think, I think D light Nair, or even a, what, what? <laughs> who, who thinks of that? That's uh, a Sandstorm only play right there, but Boomy in the offstage needs to survive. If he lost that stock, that could be very devastating. Gonna get back up, but Snowy's still on top oh. of him. Boomy with the Just full gets disengage it. gets to the right side. Snowy wants this stock. You can see how hard he is chasing for it. Yeah, and and you were talking about how crucial it is that Boomy holds onto the stock because the game number one was one off the back of Boomy getting knocked out early, and that doesn't look like that's going to be the case this time as Boomy is just keeping Santi on the left side of the stage, Snowy down, a full stock compared to everybody else on the screen. Uh, and Boomy continues just playing right behind the, the charge of Sandstorm here. Uh, as Sandstorm's putting out some more side lights. Nair hits, but no clean knockouts oh, for the blue that. team just yet. Not quite enough force. Olgrim does have quite a bit of defense, but Boomy playing a little risky there. Nice side sig to trade out. <laughs> and Sandstorm with a DC oh. DC weapon toss to follow up. And now it's all up to Santi in the 1v2 against the four stocks of the red team. That is absolutely how you what use Wushok Downsig. He uses the Downsig to basically pogo in air, spike Snowy down, weapon throw afterwards to secure the knockout as he panic, axe recoveries, and now they're in a situation where you said it four stocks to one in the 1v2. I mean, Santi might perform, perform some prof uh, impressive moves, but this isn't this isn't game one. It's not the same scenario. It's just a matter of time before Boomy and Sansom end this stock here, and we're going to be going to a game three. Oh, wait. Okay, wait, Sandstorm had two stocks, never mind. Yeah, Sandstorm had two stocks. Yeah. Boomy still has plenty of health. Meanwhile, Santi is deep <laughs> red. Boomy going for the Olgrim Classic, the slide charge D-Sig. Ooh, Santi, he's making it look like okay. he's having trouble recovering. He's baiting Boomy down. He knows It's the Ooh. psychological warfare in Brawlhalla that you don't hear about. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, that's it. You're going for some goofy options there. You know what? They had a lot of health to play with, but it's going to all work out as red team. Going to tie it up one apiece. There is a little too much that happened in that game for this replay uh, scenario. You know, eSports dev streams on Monday. Watch out for those because, man, you are going to get a lot of clips from these sets. That, 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 that right there Look is going to get that, slow oh, mode. man. That down sink into the weapon throw. We're gonna see the gravity cancel down and right there. You know what? It was purely a stalling tactic. You put it out there, it's a hitbox that you're afraid to challenge unarmed. It's actually one of the smartest things I think I've seen. Boomy and Sandstorm are both put out that gravity cancel unarmed down sync now, just break dancing in the air. Uh, and break dancing hurts. It hurts when your legs <laughs> go flying into somebody else's face, you know? You break your nose. Yeah, the, uh, the Brahalla mosh pit, really. It can be <laughs> dangerous. So we're at, we're at Apocalypse now. This seems to be a trend. Uh, in all these North American 2v2 games. You start on Mammoth, and then it just slowly burns the grass away until you're just left with a husk of its original self. And uh, all hell is broken loose, literally. Uh, it's quite a dangerous place to be playing right now. But so far, everybody trading out pretty evenly. Boomy taking a little bit more damage than everyone else. But still no one quite in that kill percent. We're seeing a lot of people actually kind of struggle to get those hits. Yeah, uh, a, a much more pace neutral so far until once you said that, Sansom just puts out side sig after side sig. Boomy gets hit by the punish. Oh, oh, sorry, oh. Yeah. 
Uh, Sandstorm just got bounced around. Oh, no, that was so recovery. unfortunate. And Santi hits the sword side air, interrupted the axe side of the connected with Boomy. He still gets the edge guard, but man, solid lead for the blue team. Gravity cancel down light to try and get even more extra credit on the Sandstorm there as uh, Snowy gets Pogo to Desaird off the right side of the stage. But Santi has been doing such a great job avoiding damage. And he was able to stay on the ledge long enough for Snowy to make it back, get a few uppercuts. And a weapon spawn perfectly placed for his teammate to give the, continue giving them the lead. Yeah, I mean, the fact that Santi's still sitting on the first stock is really, really nice for this red team. Ooh. Tries to get the follow-up off the neutral light. Wasn't quite in position. Ogo again lands on top of Snowy's head. Boomy trying to play this edge guard. The blue team not having it. They want to just get back on stage, continue to win this neutral. Oh, Santi is so quick to react to the startup of Axe Neutral Light. When that Axe Neutral Light hits Snowy, he dashed him right in, interrupt the move, stopped the strong hit of that attack from coming through, and got a bunch of extra damage on the Boomy. Oh, the the weapon toss. toss saving Santi's stock. That was so the sick. The target swap. Okay. going to charge up. Stock count technically even, but man, Ooh. this red team is damaged. They are damaged, but so is Snowy, and that's huge. They can focus on Snowy. We've been seeing all these 1v2 scenarios. This isn't, this isn't like the matchups that we saw with Cody, Travis, and Faison earlier on on the winner's side of top 32, right? When they're taking oh. out players, it's one at a time. They're trying to make it as uncomfortable for each other as possible. But Boomy goes down shortly after Sandstorm, and now they can get that 1v2 combo. Sandstorm's not careful. A Sandstorm waiting on that right side wall. Just for the uh, teammate respawn. Still no weapons for Boomy. Just trying to stay near Sandstorm. Finally gets the weapon pick up, throws it away. Wanted the axe. Snowy getting more damage. Red team gonna try to target him. Ooh, Snowy trying to fall down that sidelight. One down her hits. Ooh, narrow recovery to Boomy. But Boomy goes all the way with the exhausted recovery out of jump options. They don't go for the punish. They switch instead over to Sandstorm. And that sidelight will tack on some more damage. That D-Light downer, D-Light downer, side air. Oh. Five clean hits from Santi on to Boomy. And Boomy could just be out here. I mean, we're, we're on the verge of Boomy and Sandstorm getting four stocked and almost to, to a game point, Duke. Is that is that what's going to happen here? No, Boomy Not fights yet. back. Oh, he doesn't And the double follow, knockout comes it. through. Okay. Dot count evened up. Boomy has some health to play with, but he is definitely the most damaged on the screen. He's got to be careful here. One more down air in the right spot, and he could be dead. That recovery putting him very close to it. Sandstorm knocked away by the sword neutral light of Santi. Boomy falling out with that down air, chase dodging the safety. Goes back to center stage. The ground pound from the cannon blast. The weapon out of Boomy's hands, and the recovery oh. on the Sandstorm. There it goes, Boomy. And Sandstorm in the 1v2 once again. This is going to be big. These underdogs about to be up again over the favorites of the tournament. Sandstorm and Boomy are on their last legs here, but Sandstorm playing this 1v2 gets one hit, but he eats a side air, and that is going to be big. 766 damage from Santi that game, unreal. Snowy was getting some of those knockouts, but man, Santi was playing on a whole nother level, bringing this to match point. It's now a 2-1 lead for the blue team of Snowy and Santi. And I, I mean, maybe I was thinking of an alternate reality, Duke, but we're, we're, on, the, <laughs> we're, we're on the verge of that, that, that Snowy, Santi, Simba, Walshy winners this finals. Is the, oh, this is a little Peter close. Parker just talking. Mm -hmm mid spell right now who knows where this multiverse will go but boomy and sandstorm now have to win the next two games otherwise the upset happens and they go down to the losers bracket thanos yeah. gets revived and also has the gauntlet and maybe like a more infinity stones i don't know wow this is, this is getting way crazier than i was yeah. expecting that man that's it's crazy ooh, ooh, that's a that's a terrible reality to live in. let's hope that well, let me you know what let's let's just see how it plays out we're only we can only guess we can only assume uh, and Boomy and Sandstorm, they have not switched legends or maps going into game number four. And this isn't unusual to me. We, we ha It's not unheard of for both Boomy, Sandstorm, or Boomy and Sandstorm to go into the lower bracket with a particular legend pick or legend combination. And then when they get into the lower bracket, they break out something that's like the, okay, the training weights are off. Here's what we actually prepared to win the tournament with. And they just breeze oh! through these 6-0 grand finals. But Fanti throwing out side six for days and yeah. they are connecting. Oh, no, he tried to get. And he's not trying oh. to get. Oh, wait, the Dude, down he's just sig throwing out Sigs. 
Santi is super confident going into this game number four. That was two down six. We've seen six side six in a row. Santi is trying to get that confirmed. The dodge has gone from Sandstorm, but they haven't been able to get these knockouts just yet, and that recovery is not quite oh, enough. Nair. The Nair comes through, and Snowy can just continue blasting the sky to take down Boomy's first stock here, as the blue team seems untouchable going into game number four. This is our Brahalla World Champion team going up against a brand new team and they are behind. Can't even get a knockout just yet off of the blue team. Oh, that's huge. Axe Neutral Light comes through. Sandstorm doubles up his recovery with a knockout move as that hits. And that side air could potentially take down Santi as well as that grandpa comes through Ooh, and stops Santi from getting his dodge. Well, it, it almost worked. He didn't get his jumps back, but he did get one and that was enough from the knockback that came through. Ooh, and some friendly fire from the blue team. Still gonna launch, finally. Knocking the stock off, keeping this one even. Boomy gonna Whoa. go for the deep commit. Oh, Snowy's in trouble. Running out of jumps Still here, Sweat Beats, but Sandstorm sends him up, so he's got plenty of movement now. Yeah. Good job from Boomy and Sandstorm to bring this game back. Damage basically entirely even across the board. It's gotta be just a difference of single digits at this point. Boomy a little bit behind, but with Santi getting poked by that neutral light, okay. it's, it's dead even. Who's gonna go down first? Snowy blasting his way through. Ooh, Double sideline into the down air. Weapon toss, in position trying to force for the, the dodge. Oh, Snowy's looking for the D-like round pound. Santi. I'm very, I'm very surprised by that. Everybody somehow manages to make it back. So many people in kill percent. These first stocks, or these second stocks are so critical. Sandstorm gonna be the first one to fall. Santi with the punish. I'm telling you, I said it in game two and I'll say it again. Santi has the best reaction time to a neutral light hitting his teammate. We saw with the ax and oh. the lance now. Boomy went for the neutral light onto an opponent and Santi Dash jumps in, falls, gets the D-Light Sider to get the punish and the stock. Blue team now up three stocks to two, but Boomy with the back end of that downer oh. is trying to take Santi down. The Santi gets in there for the save. Perfect position to come out. Snowy saves him again. What the hell? How is Snowy this good? How is Snowy this good? This team is insane. They're, they're both so stinking good. Snowy takes out his teammate, but this is still in the blue team's favor. This red team needs this kill on Snowy so yeah. desperately. As oh, Snowy and they're close. So red. Sizek hits. Sansa looking for the edge guard. Oh, no. Hits up in the recovery. He wants to get Santi or Snowy off the left side of the stage. They need this 1v2 against Santi. They even have a chance. Oh. Boomy cuts through everybody with the down sig. Side lights forward. Snowy punches him away. Sandstorm gets hit off the stage. Santi goes for the edge oh. guard. Oh, who's it going to be? Who's going to go down first? Can Boomy and Sandstorm make it back? They're going for these oh. weapon throws. They're forcing the dodges. And Sandstorm has one last jump on the wall, and he makes it back. Do you like ground pound? Side light and air. Can they get the alley-oop? Oh, he went for the commitment there with the oh, crap on the stars come out. He can touch. What? He touched, he touched, he touched. I can't believe it's okay. just enough. There's a chance, but Sansa's going to be hitting wall slip way sooner than usual. He's been on that yep. wall so long this game. Oh, oh he did it. He did it. He did reverse it. He did it reverse it. He can do it again. He gets another down light. He light backs oh, off. There's a weapon spawn, but there it is. Santi and Snowy with the massive upset. Going to knock Boomy and Sandstorm into the lower bracket. I... You know what? I can't believe my eyes, Duke. I was calling it game number one tentatively. <laughs> I'm not going to say that I knew what was going to happen, but I saw the possibility, and now it's reality. Snowy and Sandy are winner's side. Winner's finals. Ooh. Top three. And we could potentially have Santi and Simba fighting against each other in top three instead of with each other for the first time. Boomy and Sandstorm down 3-1 to this brand new pairing of Snowy and Santi. And man, you said that they were preparing it. You said they were talking about it in Pro Series. Goodness, did they prepare it. It did so well in that set against Boomy and Sandstorm. And now Cody Travis and Faison are probably getting a little bit worried about Simba and Walsh after they watched that reverse 3-0 comeback over Coslix and Wrenched, who are a very...